experience prior to arriving at Bottle Island was customer service. Almost every job I've ever held was customer service. So um, once I arrived at Potawatomi, the cash handling aspect came into play with my past experience. So it was a fit. Not necessarily cage, of course. Um, leadership, yes. I, I, I was um, raised to be a leader, kind of. My grandmother put me in charge of a lot of things at a very young age. So leadership was kind of instilled in me very early on. Um, and it came natural. I didn't quite understand it back then, but as an adult, I could look back on it and say, she wanted me to be, to be a leader. And thanks to her, I am. I worked in leadership prior. Um, once I arrived here, it was almost like I jumped in to be a leader, even though I was not. Um, people would ask me questions. People would always come to me for help. And I was new in the, depart the department myself. So um, it came naturally probably within the first month of being here. Um, after my probationary period, I was in leadership. I think it's inspiring. I think it's great to be in a position to show other minorities that it can be done. Definitely, definitely. There's been some challenges. There's been things that happened over the years being in management and being a woman and being minority um, that you have to speak up sometimes and stand your ground. And if you know you're, you're right, move forward with it and go for what's right. And sometimes that may mean going over someone's head. And I've had to do that. Luckily, not much, but I've had to do that. And that was, that was a challenging period for me. to say my director um, I think we mentor each other we're both minority we're both women we're both in leadership we absolutely understand the business the importance of consistency and communication and we work great from that perspective because we're on the same page um, we've talked to each other through a lot of things over the years um, and I think our department has been hugely successful because of that. My grandmother used to say it, and then I heard it again in leadership training here, treat people how you expect to be treated. Sometimes we lose sight of that so quickly, especially when you um, are promoted or you move into leadership, you kind of forget where you came from, you kind of forget that the janitor is just as important as the CEO and treat people exactly how you expect to be treated. That's a perfect one for me and my career and I stand by that one.